Okay, March 3rd, uh, 2021. Uh, this is Intermediate 3 from 8 to 9 p.m. Hello, Medium, how are you? How was your day, Medium? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Great. What did you do today, Medium? What? What did you do today? I work, 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 work. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am... Um, um, Como le explico? The company is agent forwarder. Um, I, ¿cómo se dice encargada, teacher? Responsible. Okay, responsible in export, export. Um, the most clients. Uh, for clients, for the maid, and um, so, uh, I do documentation, and yes, yeah, sí. <laughs> muchas cosas. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Teacher, aprovechando que, uh -huh. que soy la primera en ingresar, bueno, una de las primeras en ingresar, tengo duda con la, con la tarea de ayer, pero no sé si nos va a poner a trabajarla también ahora. No, ya estamos en la unidad 2. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Ah, vaya. Lo que pasa es que en, en el 1.9 uh -huh. tenemos que colocar solo el... Usted dijo el verbo to be y, uh -huh. y agregarlo en pasado participio, ¿verdad? Correcto. Entonces el primero tiene que ser como it grown. Así sería. Solo o sea, colocar esa parte y no colocar toda la oración. Así es, correcto. Ah, ok. Thank you. Solo que eh, is grown está incorrecto, pero sí, así sería. Ok, Miriam. ¿Por qué está incorrecto? ¿Por qué cree que es is? Porque se está tratando de los cultivos. Exacto, eso es singular o plural. Ah, es plural. Ok. Y para plural, ¿qué vamos a usar? Argrom. Exacto. ¿Es ok, Miriam? Sí. Ok, good. Ok. Antes de continuar, ¿hay alguien que tiene alguna duda de la lección 1? ¿Algo que no les quedó claro? ¿De Passive Voice? Entonces, tengo entendidos que ya todos terminaron la lección 1. Yes, teacher. All is good. All is good, Marce. Excellent. And the others? Everyone finish unit 1? Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Excellent. Okay. Then today, we're going to look at two different grammar forms to compare and contrast, okay? We're going to look at the past continuous, okay? And the simple past, okay? Do you know what is the simple past or the past continuous? Do you remember hearing for this term before, past continuous? Do 
Do you remember the past continuous? The past continuous is when we have made an action in the past. Okay. And what is the what about the simple past? What is the the, the simple past? The simple past is for that started and ended in the past. Okay, very good. So we have the past continuous. Um, when we use, as an example, the, the structure is the noun, be, the verb, and then ing. As an example, um, I can say I was working um, maybe this morning, which is probably true for all of you, okay? I was working this morning, okay? Now, then we also have the simple past. The simple past is similar to the past continuous in structure. We have the noun, but then we have the no verb to be, we have the verb in past, okay? And that's it. So as an example, I worked this morning. Okay, now if you look at the two sentences, for you, what is the difference when I say I was working or I worked? I was working, es como um, the action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I worked is the past. Uh, I, no sé, <laughs> how to explain it. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, think in Spanish. In Spanish, what would be the difference? Estoy trabajando. I am working. No, in the past. In the past, I was. Estuve trabajando. Mm -hmm. And I um, I worked. Trabajé. Uh -huh. So what's the difference? Anybody? What would be the difference? The same, Spanish or English? What would be the difference? I think that the simple past is like a more regularly option. Okay. For example, options in every day, but that is uh, finished. Okay, let's take a look. We have an idea and it, it's okay. If you don't know the answer, it's no problem. That's, that is the function, that is the purpose of the class to make sure that your ideas is clear and not confused that ah, maybe is this, maybe is that. So for this, we are going to watch a small video for the simple past and the past continuous. And then I'm going to explain a little bit more. Okay. Hi everyone, are you ready? Let's go now talking about past continuous versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time, but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay during the explanation and take notes. Past continuous versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I will begin talking about simple past because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? 
we use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, negative, and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take note on the following. We have these two words, while and when. While it is usually used with past continuous and when it is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous and when plus short actions, simple past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure for past continuous. Listen and follow it. For affirmative, subject plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative, subject plus was, were, plus not, plus verb, and ing. Questions, was, were, plus subject, plus verb, ing, plus question mark. Past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. For example, you may say, Last week, I was driving when I got a flat tire. Remember to use both tenses just like I did. Okay. So, let's take a look at what we understood from that situation, okay? So, normally, we can think that they are two different things, okay? They are both in the past, but the past continuous is something that you were in the middle of doing or something that was incomplete. It is normally used with two actions, okay? The second action, the one that interrupts, is the simple past. So, as an example, um, I was listening to music. This is the first action. I was listening to music. The second action interrupt the first action when the phone rang, okay? When I, uh, when the earthquake began, okay? Or whatever action you want. This is the idea. So imagine on yesterday or today, when you say I was working this morning or I worked this morning, the two are correct. The difference is that in the first one, I was working this morning, normally you have another action or you have another explanation. I was working this morning when my boss called me to a meeting, okay? I was working this morning uh, when I saw uh, my wife uh, in the street, okay? And the other one is only that action. It's not necessary a bigger explanation. That is going to be the difference between those two. One action we use to can say that something is not finished. That's the past continuous. One action we use that the action is finished. That's the simple past. When we use the two, the first action, the first activity is with ing. That is the one that is ing working, playing, reading. That is the first action. The second action is the one that is simple. If it's regular, ed. 
If it's not regular, you need to remember the verbs in the past. Are there any questions in this moment? No. Not in check. Okay. Everything's good. Okay. Okay. So the first thing we, we are going to do two activities. Okay. The first activity we're going to do is we are going to practice in the platform. Okay. This is going to be our exercise 2.2 in the platform. So the first thing here, let me share. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to 2.2 and practice choosing, which is the correct to complete those sentences, okay? Now, if you see, there are two spaces, okay? So here, my brother snowboard when he break. So it's necessary that you choose two answers. It's not one answer. So, for example, if you think is what snowboarding, you choose. If you think the other was broken, you choose. But you have to select two of them for each one. Okay. Okay. Now, that's the first activity we're going to do. The second activity is we're going to practice speaking. We're going to make questions about the past and we're going to answer them. For this, we need to review how to make questions in the past. Uh, Selvin, how do we make a question in the past? Make, you can give me an example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was, a question. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Did you play football yesterday? Okay. Okay. So we have, did you play football yesterday? You write it. Okay. Now, Selvin is correct. That is a correct question in the past. If you see, Selvin followed the grammar. The grammar is did, the noun, in this case is you, the verb in past. Sorry, the, the verb is never in past. I apologize. That is for the sentences. The verb is never in past. It's only the verb in present. I didn't put it correctly. It should be yeah. the verb is in present. So it's did, the noun, the verb in present, I apologize, and then the compliment. Did you play football yesterday? Now, some people confuse and say, hey, why the verb is in present? The verb is in present because we use did. Did is the in past, and did is the auxiliary to indicate the past, okay? So, Selvin asked me, did you play, yes did you play football yesterday? No, I didn't, I, I watched TV. I am not going to ask her, Selvin, no. I am not going to ask, answer Selvin, no, I didn't. Uh, I am not going to give short answers or one word answer. I am going to answer and like a normal person, I'm going to have a normal conversation. No, I didn't. I watched TV. What did you do, Selvin? Or did you play football? Did you see the game? Did you watch? The, the idea is, those two activities. One, practice writing past simple and past continuous. Two, practice speaking in the past. Sometimes we use the past simple, sometimes the past continuous. Now for the past simple is the question that said we did. Did you? Okay. Now, normally we don't make questions with the past continuous. As an example, we don't normally say, are you playing football? Or sorry, were you playing football? yesterday. Normally, it's only did. Okay. Is correct. Were you playing football yesterday? But normally, we use with where with a specific time. Were you playing football at seven o'clock? Were you watching TV at eight o'clock? Were you working at five? So it's normal to ask the questions with did. Now, it's also important to remember that it's not necessary only did. Sylvine can ask, he can say, where did you? 
when did you, uh, what time did you, or who did you play football with? Okay, whatever Sylvie wants. This is the idea to have a normal conversation. It's not question answer, question answer. No. Okay. Imagine <laughs> you are with friends, you, you and Jose are having a beer, uh, Marcela and Laura are having some coffee, and they are talking, they are gossiping. Hi, Marcela, how are you? Hi, Laura. Hi. And this is the idea, okay? We are trying to have normal conversation. So, one more time, exercise. What exercise are we going to complete? 2.2. 2.2, excellent, 2.2. And then we're going to practice asking and answering our questions. Teacher. Yes, Rona. I don't have access to the platform. Ah, okay. It's no problem, Rona. With your partner, your partner is going to share the screen and then you can you can work together. Also, okay. Rona, also, Rona, in the WhatsApp group, I put the information from the video. So you can see also if you if you are using your cell phone. Okay. Yeah. But when you work with your partner, you share the screen. Rona, you don't have access. Okay. Uh, never, never have access to the platform or only today. Yeah, yeah. In the in the past courses, I I I see the 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 last the last uh, courses. Okay. But no this course. Okay. Ronald only uh, intermediates uh -huh. too. Okay, no problem. Ronald, uh, today you work with the partner and share the screen. But is necessary you write in the WhatsApp uh, to Jonathan or you write an email for the English uh, uh, English Cooperativo. That way the technical okay. that way technical support can investigate and discover what is the problem. Uh, you don't have access or the password or, or what happened, okay? Okay. okay, thanks. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, anybody else, any other questions? Okay, let's practice with our groups. Today is groups, groups of three. Bueno, vamos a trabajar en el 2.1, dijo, ¿verdad? Esto fue en one. Yes, I, I share my, my screen. Thank you. Can you see the screen? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. I see. Okay, number one, my mother was snowboarding when he, my brother, when he broke his leg in several places. What do you think? The man was a wonder. Lo que pasa que yo lo veo desde mi celular, entonces se me complica un poquito. El primero tenemos que colocar. A mí me cuesta un poquito servirla, soy muy sincera. Sí. Ok, vamos a colocar el... Lo voy a bajar un poquito, ahí está. My brother. I walk. Happen problem with my. Uh, I find a teacher to help me. Okay. 
in number two. This several years ago, I was having problems with math. So I found a tutor to help me. Number three, the couple had their first child when they were living in a tiny apartment. Mm -hmm. uh, the couple, yeah, couple were living, uh, had their first child when they were living in a tiny apartment. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Was having, the couple was having. When they were living in the bed. Wow. But in the parentheses, in the parentheses, it's hub, the verb hub. The couple had. Oh, the couple had. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. The first child when they were living. Sí, está bien. Okay. While I while was I driving. was driving while I was driving uh -huh, in Ireland in Ireland a Ireland. few years ago I realized uh -huh. I realized mm -hmm. I was, I was on, on the, the road, road on the side side road the road. Mm -hmm. So Next one, teacher. Yes. How do you pronounce the first word? All right. Um, All right. All right. Correct. All right. What's the meaning of that? Like that's a name. Correct. That is the ah, name. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Was reading a good book. But someone... But someone told her the ending. Mm. <laughs> Qué <Yeah>. malo. <laughs> told her the ending. Uh -oh. Nunca me hubiera imaginado ending, uh -oh. ing. Mm -hmm. Next one. Mm -hmm. While my mother was cooking dinner last night, the farm ran three times. The farm ran three times. Run, run, the farm ran three times. Sí. Pasado el verbo irregular. ¿no? Yes. Irregular. Next one. Mm -hmm. Tracy. Norik. Where work? Met. Uh, met. Mm -hmm. Met when met. they were working. At the same restaurant in Vancouver. Okay. Same. Met when they were working. Mm -hmm. Sí, está bien. De todos modos. Sí, porque no puede ser el, el was. Tiene mm. razón. Check. Probemos. Sí. Ten. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Que okay, vamos en el. ¿Cuál tenemos mal? Es la uno. Ah, la uno está mal. Entonces sería que no ver. Three is number. 
y broken en la segunda. No. O broke. broke. No, broke. Broke. Uh -huh. Check again. Oh. <laughs> broken. No. <laughs> broken. Ah, come on. <laughs> Entonces, sería. What wording? Was broken. No, boarding y broken en el último. Broken. Broken. Check <laughs> you see, okay. Team, Team Marine works. <laughs> no, no, teacher, no. Lo que pasa es de que habíamos probado varias, pero teníamos todas con No, era Team Marine, teacher. <laughs> It's a mistake. Uh -huh. okay, es el B. Selvin, ¿puede ponerla anterior? Solo quiero ver el, la 1, cómo, cómo quedó al final. Ah, ok. Sí, thank you. Yes, next. Yes. Uh -huh. Maybe. Eso sí no salió bien. Sí. No, solo, solo dos nos equivocamos. I do. I really enjoy yogurt with, uh, with uh, fruit, with some fruit. Oh, yeah, example, yeah. Strawberries or peaches. Oh, yeah. I... I... Kind of like eat it sometimes with cereal instead of milk. Mm. That sounds. The very... banana with banana ah, yeah. strawberry flavor is good. Yeah. Haven't you tried it with uh, with cereal? No, I I have never tried. No, uh, you should. You should. It's good. With granola. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That too. That's a great combination. Yeah. Yeah. I should have took dinner. I'm sorry. Is this? Turned off. Uh huh. As of turn. Oh. No, 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 no. Turn. Sería. Turn. Ah, creo que esto es, creo que eso es lo que se ocupa para luces. Turn no. Mm, no, entonces. Turn it off, turn it off. Turn it turn it. Pensé que era turn it. Ajá. No, para luces es turn it off. Ajá. Past, ajá, sí. Past tense of ¿Eh? turn off. Is turned off? Turn it off. Ajá, turn it off, así. Ok. Um, Hoy te toca a ti. A mí. Sí. Otro más. <risa> um, ay. We have to use. Tenemos que usar la palabra while. La que estaba en el video, sí. No. No es not necessary. No es not necessary. Ah, ok. Um, I was shopping. Um, I was shopping food when 
how do you say start in pasado? Start. Started. Started. Mm -hmm. Started. Started. Started rain. Can be? Yeah. Okay. Um. Next. Uh, Next. Yo. Sí. Yes. Working, sería, I was working in the... Um, eh, I... A... A... M... To 5 p.m. Um, I... Um, ¿Cómo se dice llegué a mi casa? Arrived. 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 Miriam. Miriam. Sí. Continúa. <laughs> es que me está preguntando aquí en el día. Um, ¿Sí? Eight. Three cosas. What did you do in this in your work? Ah, in your... Also, Selby, uh, is, I call is what did you do? What did you do yeah. in this? What did you do this day? Okay. Mm -hmm. I call clients. Um, do documentation, um, meet with my parents, um, oh. <laughs> it's you work with your parents? No, uh, perdón, uh, my, ¿cómo se dice compañero? Um, Partners. 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 Mm -hmm. Excuse hey. me, partner. <laughs> yes, and, and I think, oh, sorry. <laughs> and 2019. No, but uh, did you also finish the, the high school? The high school? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, you're, and you're not in university yet? No. Oh, me too. <laughs> this time I'm not. Yeah. The coronavirus have. Uh, have right. Has an other plans. Yeah, and it's kind of difficult. Yeah. And I don't know, what did you do yesterday? Uh, yesterday, I, I only worked. I and study. Uh, no, I, I don't. I finished my studies at the university. Oh, no, I mean in uh, the English class. Oh, I I couldn't make it yesterday. Uh, I didn't. Yes. Oh. And you, Marcel? 
Yes, I I was here in class. No. And what about the weekend? What did you do the weekend? Did you go to vote? Oh, no. Um, in my case, no. Yes, I went in the morning. And in the vote center was full. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. At what time did the the vote center open? I think like eight o'clock. Uh, yeah. Because there were some places that they opened at like 10 a.m. Yes. And I mean, that's late. Okay, does anybody have any questions? No? In my case, is everything good? Okay, good. Okay, so we understand the difference. The difference is Past continuous is for the action that is not complete or is a, during a, excuse me, during a long period of time. The simple action is for the action that is complete or finished, okay? The two are in the past. One is past continuous, one is simple past. Now, we are also going to learn today a little bit about adverbs. Do you know what are adverbs? No? Okay. So here, I'll help you a little bit. So for example, we normally have uh, the simple sentence is, I walk. But when we use the adverbs, we the adverbs explain how you do the action. I walk slowly, okay? I walk quickly. These are the adverbs. The adverbs answer the question, how is the action? Okay, they, the idea is to explain more about the action. Similar to adjectives, okay? I like, uh, I like food I li or I like pizza, but we use the adjectives to describe, ah, I like Mexican food. I like delicious pizza, right? Those are the adjectives the same function for the adverbs. The adverbs, they change or they help explain the actions, the verb, okay? So uh, let's see, Miriam works, okay? She says, ah, I work. How do you work? Ah, I work hard today. I work slowly today. I work carefully today. I work quickly today. This is, all of these are adverbs. They explain how medium worked. That is the idea for our adverbs, okay? So today we're going to be looking at how or what adverbs we can use, okay? So in our next activity, we have a small little thing about vocabulary. Let's watch the video and then I'll explain. Hi, this time we'll talk about some adverbs which are often used for storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, 
suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Now that you have listed and decided which ones were positive, negative, and neutral, we want you to complete the following statements with those adverbs so you can come up with creative sentences. Now, let's look a little bit at those words. Okay. Let's take a moment. We have many different adverbs. First, let's make sure we understand the meaning. What is the meaning of those adverbs? Do you know all of those adverbs? What the question? Do you understand the vocabulary? Oh, yeah, yes, I understand. Okay. And for the other people, do you understand the vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Some Let's... words. Which words? Um, what's the meaning of coincidentally? Correct. The Co first one? Correct. Coincidentally. 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 The meaning of coincidentally is like when you say by accident but not by accident a problem by accident that is not planned i went to um i went to the beach coincidentally a uh, medium went to the beach and we saw each other so is by accident the two went to the beach is not planned it's only by accident is that okay Teacher, um, you came escuchamos, entonces me gustaría que lo repetirlas y saber cómo se pronuncia. Yes, Miriam, ask me in English. Miriam? Uh, mm -hmm. You can, uh, you can pronunciation the, the word. Okay, no problem, Miriam. Very good. Remember, when we make questions, is the opposite, is not the first, the person. This is the sentence. The correct is, can you, for questions. And you can is for sentence. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. I'm going to pronounce and then we check. So, coincidentally. 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 What is the translation? Coincidentally. Correct. Coincidentally. Remember. <laughs> Coincidentally is like by accident or something that is not planned, okay? Then we have fortunately. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Fortunately. 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 Good. Luckily. 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 Mm -hmm. Luckily. 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 Mm -hmm. Then we have miraculously. 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 Mm -hmm. Sadly. 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 We have strangely. 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 Mm -hmm. Suddenly. Suddenly. 
Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. And unfortunately. 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 All right. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Are there any questions? For... Yes. The adverb always ends in L-Y. No, it usually ends in L-Y, but not always. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what is the meaning of unexpectedly? Something that is not planned. This is unexpectedly. It's similar to a surprise. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Yes? Uh, the, uh... There are uh, more uh, word, uh, adverb word. Yes, there are. For example, uh, all of the other verbs: slowly, quickly, uh, fast. Uh, oh, every there are maybe I don't know maybe three thousand more adverbs or more. Okay. The the adverbs are like the adjectives. They are the adjectives describe the person, the place, or the thing, and the adverbs describe all of the actions or activities or verbs. The word kind is an adverb. Kind, no, kind is an adjective. Mm -hmm. The you you can know when it's an adverb because is going to answer the question how something is done. Okay, so normally the adjectives are for description, things that you can see or observe, like the color, uh, the numbers. There are uh, the table is blue. Ah, blue is adjective because you can see and it describes the table, but. Okay. The adverbs describe how the activity is completed. Um, you are, you eat food, okay? Or how do you eat? Do you eat carefully? Do you eat slowly? Do you eat quickly? Are you in the military and do you have to go very fast? The, all of that, how is the adverbs? All of those that answer the question, how? The adverb is, uh... It's joined with the verb. Correct. Because you need, like the adjective is with the noun. The adverb describe or assist the verb. to verb. Be, Only to, the verb. Only the verb. Only the verb. Okay. To be more specific. Okay. Similar to the Spanish. Similar to the Spanish. Exactly. Because it's the same idea that you are trying to give more details or give more information in the verb. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? Any other questions? Okay. Great. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use those adverbs and you are going to make sentences with your partners. Okay. So use those adverbs and make sentences. You can use the platform or the uh, WhatsApp group. If the, you use the platform, it's 2.4. Okay, 2.4 in the platform or the WhatsApp. Hey, hey, Miriam. 
and your partner disappeared. Okay, did <laughs> you? I don't know what happened with the partner. No. Mm -hmm. Es que creo que cuando usted dijo vamos a trabajar, todo el mundo se salió. <laughs> no. Estamos. <laughs> <laughs> Bueno, pero te ves my partner porque tengo uh, varios preguntas. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's okay. I, I put you with other group. No problem, Miriam. I put you with other group. This one, right? Okay. okay, um, the first one. What you do lately? Mandy. Number uh, letter A. What? what? Quiero ver las las oraciones porque no no las tengo. Deme un segundito. Ah, no, este, las oraciones las inventamos, solo las palabras. Abrí, no, no, abrí. solo las, las palabras, sí. Las Ajá. que él, él puso en él. Ajá. Este, no sé si hacemos como la primera palabra uno, la segunda otro y así para avanzar, porque son un montón. Ok. Uh -huh. Usted ya dijo la primera, ya ¿verdad? La primera. Eh, Number two. Viene Fortunate. Okay, I was, I was driving to my house and fortunately it was no traffic. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, la segunda. La tercera. Uh, la tercera es locally. Uh, Luckily es verdad. Como suerte. I was luckily and I have family. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Sí>. <laughs> wow. Miraculously. Miraculously. Eso es como... Milagrosamente. Ajá, es. Jose, Marcela, are you okay? Any questions? Mm -hmm. 
No, no, teacher. No, it's okay, Marcia? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. All right. It is time for us to finish our class, but we continue again tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow we practice more using the adverbs and the past simple and the past continuous or simple past. Okay? Okay, okay. Teacher. teacher. Thank you guys. Thank you, teacher. Have a nice night. Thank you, you too. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Goodbye. Teacher. Yes, Selvin. Yes. The, the, the next Friday we have we will have a, a class. No, Selvin. Class only Monday through Thursday. Oh, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.